Hi, hello, this is Timo from Singular, and today, with the help of my colleague Nolan, we're going to talk about how to package an artwork into a curtain box or into a tube. First of all, you'll need scotch tape, a scissor, a tape ruler, and a cutter. For materials, you'll need cardboard, bubble wrap, and craft paper. First, let's wrap your artwork with craft paper. This should prevent the paint from falling off due to the friction during the shipment. Now the one that Nolan is using here has also bubble wrap on the other side, but you can just use any type of craft paper that should be fine. Next, wrap your artwork with the bubble wrap. Make sure to use the right side. The side with the bubbles should be facing outwards. This is to prevent any impact damage during the shipment. Finally, let's make the cardboard box. Now this could be a little bit tricky, but we do have some tips for you. Put the artwork in the center of the cardboard and use your cutter knife to make a long crease along the length of your artwork all the way across. Fold it up and you can use your cutter to make a mark where the height of the artwork is. Fold it back down and make a long crease along that mark all the way across yet again. And now you've made a fold to cover the top, the side and the bottom of your artwork. Now to cover the remaining two sides, lay your cardboard flat on the table and make a crease where the width of the artwork is. You can cut off the excess part in the corner. Now, do a fold and make a mark where the height is like we did before. Any excess bits can be folded on top, and once you've repeated this process, you've created a perfect box. Now use the scotch tape to seal all sides of the box. This is to prevent any water or dust from going in during the shipment. Now let's build a tube. If you have an artwork on the canvas or on paper without rigid support, a tube is the way to go. Between two pieces of craft paper, lay down your artwork with the paint sign facing down and gently roll the artwork into a tube. The important thing is that the paint should be facing outside. This is to prevent any cracks from forming during the shipment. Use some scotch tape to keep it in shape. To build a tube, we'll be using a large rectangular cardboard and make four creases with equal size width. We'll be folding the four pieces together to create a triangular tube. Use some scotch tape to keep the shape of the triangular tube and now we'll create a two caps for the opening size with a smaller piece of cardboard. They 
it should match the shape of the box and be sealed off with scotch tape like what Nolan is doing here as well. To avoid impact damage, use a ball of bubble wrap on both ends of the tube. It's important to not use too much because the bubble wrap should not be applying any pressure onto the artwork. Lastly, use your tape measure to record the dimensions of your box. And now your artwork is ready for shipment. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. This has been Timo and Nolan from Singular, and we wish you a fantastic day. Goodbye.